Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Carlos Franco, and welcome to the City of Buena Park Police Open House. Today, you'll be able to take a tour of the City Hall, the actual police department, and of course, the community center at back. But most importantly, we have some exciting things happening, like taking a ride at the police cars, seeing the dogs, some of these awesome rides behind me, and of course, we even have a fire truck present. All that and more, so stay tuned. All right, here we are with Police Chief Corey Sainez. Chief, tell us about what's going on in at Buena Park today. Well, we're having our uh, annual open house, and uh, it's an opportunity for our community to come out and see what their hard tax dollars are paid for as far as, uh, you know, our new police department and our fairly new civic center and, uh, you know, all the, the gadgets and the toys and technology that we use to... Uh, you know, provide safety to this community. Now, one thing I'm really looking forward to is getting some of the tours and new cells and things like that. Are we going to be able to see some of that? You are. We're going to take you, uh, the community, through tours of our police department, uh, th through our jail cells, through our dispatch center, uh, and, and uh, through our, our shooting range and things like that so they can see what we do and how we train to better prepare for what we deal with. That sounds very cool, and we're hoping to reduce crime and keep everybody here some fun, safe, and enjoying Buena Park, right? So do we do. This is a great day, and uh, we enjoy uh, being out here and talking to the community and uh, you know building those relationships and uh, it's very very important. Thank you very much police chief. I really appreciate okay. everything. Thank you. John, tell me, I want to know a little bit more about this ride right here because it looks like such a classic beauty. It's a, it's a 1953 Ford. Uh, that was the uh, year when the park was incorporated. And this car in particular was donated by one of the, the volunteers. And, um, and we fixed it up to make it what it is today. Okay, so between you and me, does anybody still drive this car, even off hours? Um, it, it has been to a couple of shows in the all around town, you know, various cities around. Can you tell me a little bit more about the car over there and how it really differs? This is a 2014 Charger. This is the, the latest, greatest one we just put out in service. It's a 2014 Charger V8 Hemi, capable of uh, about 150 miles an hour. It's a really nice car. So to compare, what kind of things can this car catch up to and this car probably wouldn't be able to catch up to anymore? Oh, this can, can uh, keep up with everything probably out there. You know, this thing goes real fast. It handles, has all the best uh, 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 safety features. Um, it, it is, with, with all the, the modern uh, 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 police equipment, it has everything in it. Uh, you can see weapons to safety, um, everything an officer needs as well. Here I am, and I am about to get a ride on one of these Hemi chargers. There, look at that roar. I can't wait to get in there. Officer Bates is gonna give us a little bit of a tour. So if for some reason you were rolling to a three, and we get out here, you want to hit this. We can go this way. This is so cool. I'm not going to go through this intersection. Of course not. Because there's too many cars right here. But you get the idea, right? I do get the idea. Thank you very much, Officer Bates. I really appreciate it. And this is what a thrill it was to ride with you. Carlos, it was my pleasure. That's all for us, and let's go on for the next adventure. Good, you want to see the fire engine? Sure, come on over. Want to come inside and see it? These are our helmets that protect us, and our pants and our boots are all in it, so we can get dressed super fast to go help people. Okay, for car accidents, for fires, people get sick, we can take care of them. Pretty cool, huh? A little bit bigger than mom and dad's car, huh? Make sure you visit the Buena Park Library.
Make sure you visit the Boys and Girls Club of Banner Park for our summer program. Nick, tell me, you're over here with Care Ambulance. Tell me, how many calls do you get per day? Uh, we probably run somewhere around five calls a day. It really just depends on the city and uh, how busy the day is. Weekends obviously are more busy than a weekday. So. Okay, definitely. And you have a whole lot of gadgets here. Can you explain to me what some of these do? Yeah, so right here we've got our stretcher. This is where a person of going into the hospital is going to be. We've got our AED, which is a defibrillator, and that's when someone's having, say, a cardiac arrest. And then we've got some of our gear here. And this is just our helmet and then just our brush coat. So when we go into accidents, we wear that for visibility. So how fast does it take you to really strap someone down and get them loaded to go? Depending on the call, it could be really quick or it could be really slow. We got to take our time for some calls and other calls we got to go. So anywhere from 10 seconds to 10 minutes, just depends. Okay. We're here with the original horsepower. Corporal Palmy, tell me, how long have you been serving the force? Almost 16 years. Wow, almost 16 years. Now, how long have you been riding this horse specifically? This horse, I've had him since he was a baby and he came on the team in 2000 when we started the unit. And what's the difference between riding this and, you know, taking the patrol car every now and again or maybe, you know? Well, different tools of the trade. We have a multitude of tools we can draw from. Horses serve a, a purpose, a crowd control, uh, moving crowds. It's a good visual platform. It's a good deterrent and it, it has its use. Um, we work at different venues where we have large, large gatherings. Um, if there's unruly crowds, we can go in and push crowds and move people around with minimum force. That sounds really cool. So what kind of stuff do you carry in some of these? Uh, this is just supplies, water, the all-approved uh, paper bag, so when the horse decides to you know, do its business. Responsibility. Yep. Um, so and then we have our ticket books and paperwork and forms. Very cool, very cool. Now, are you planning on maybe doing any crowd control today if anybody gets too rowdy? Only if you get uh, out of control. If you get unruly, we might have to you know, do a little crowd control. Define unruly, because I just rode in that cop car and I threw my hands in the air. You weren't handcuffed? No, I wasn't even handcuffed. <laughs> Well, that's the problem. Oh, <laughs> there we go, there we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, from gr gas to grass with Bueno Park Police Horses. All right, so here we are. How, what are you guys doing out here? What brings you out today? Just to support the police department. Awesome. And who is this gentleman right here? This is my grandson, Aiden. Say hi, Aiden. Say hi. <laughs> He's shy right now. Have you guys done this every year, or is this no, your this first, time? first time? first time. First time coming here, so oh, hopefully cool. we'll do it every year. <laughs> and you just got here? I just got here, just walked in. Well, I hope you really enjoy it, man. Beat the weather, get some water bottles, and you're going to love these All horses. Right. Thank you. Have fun. How long have you guys been explorers? Um, I've been an explorer for about a year and a half, and it's been pretty promising. And you, miss? I'm about six months. Okay, just getting started. Two very young explorers here. Now, you guys have a demonstration coming up pretty soon, right? Tell me a little bit about what's going to happen there. Um, our police explorers are going to um, work with SWAT and do a um, 960 car stop which is basically just going to do a basic car stop and present it in front of the public. Okay. What about you, Gonzalez? Are you going to be excited about this? What's your duty here? I'm here just going to watch and see, um, you know, critique maybe and just learn from it. It's, it's a cool experience, especially with SWAT and our explorers doing it. So it, it should be really fun and exciting. That's awesome. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to see the demonstration. I hope you guys are in on it. You learn a lot and you really take away and bring it back to the community. Sound good? Yeah. All right. High five, everyone. Let's go. All right, here we are at the Buena Park Police Station to see the new facility. We're re really excited to be here. How excited are you guys to be here? Good! Yeah! We're excited! Can't wait to take this tour. Let's go inside Buena Park. Here's one of our handguns. It's a Glock. It's a 40 caliber. It's the small version because I'm a detective. I'm in charge of robbery homicide, so I carry one of the smaller ones. Anybody have any questions before I go out there? Do we get to shoot any of these guns? No. Nope. <laughs> you just get to watch. Uh, oh, wow. Those are two And now he's going to do the rapid shot. So oh, make sure you see the, which way the gun goes because uh, as he's shooting, it goes up. Fully automatic right here. Yeah. Wow. 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 <laughs> Probably 230036, I'll show you 
Come on in, go around. <laughs> go around, come on in. What you see here is our five screens. That screen there is a radio, and we are able to communicate to the officers there. And um, we can go to all those different channels if we need to. If we get tied up on something big, they have two other channels they can go to. This screen here is showing you the, our map. And I can zoom out, and it's the whole city of Blair Park. I'll find my house. Where are you? What city? I mean, what street? Marshall. Marshall. Marshall and Commonwealth. Okay, you're about right here. There you guys know. Good. Okay, so we're gonna zoom into his house. I can. <laughs> I have grass. <laughs> I can actually go in closer if I need to, but. Because he's an unreliable pitcher, because now he has grass. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Are you guys ever going to be on car watch or something? <laughs> Thank you very much for the tour, Vicky. It's been very interesting. I know this is a lot of fun for you. Yeah, it is. Um, well, you're welcome. Hopefully, we can see you again, but not in jail. <laughs>an eventful day it's been ladies and gentlemen they're obviously already cleaning out it was a ton of fun i hope you didn't miss out if you did follow us on facebook keep up with all the events happening right here in buena park i'm carlos franco stay safe out there buena park <laughs>